All right, boys and girls, and welcome back to our Aston Villa career, episode two. Today, we take on Arsenal in the league for our second game of the season, hoping to pick up some points. Obviously, last time we left off, we lost 2-0 to Chelsea. A disappointing defeat, but it is Chelsea at the end of the day. And today, it's not any easier. Since we last left off, nothing has really happened. I've sorted out a few of the kit numbers. Of course, we now have Owen Windle. I've changed a bit of the tactics about, so we're going to be a bit more aggressive. I've gone for the Ganga Press and attacking fullbacks. Um, also changed our thing to possession game instead of counter-attacking, and I want to be a bit more aggressive in our pressuring. Um, this is the lineup that we're going to go for. No new signings as of late. Obviously, John McGinn is out injured, unfortunately, so we can't fit him in the team. Also tempted to play Grealish Cam and then Trezeguet on the left. Um, we may try that today at some point, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Well, yesterday as well, Aston Villa just beat Liverpool 7-2 in the Premier League. Insane result. Don't know where it's come from. But, you know, it gives me some ambition for the career that if Aston Villa can do it, so can we. Um, but yeah, I think actually for this game, for this game, I've got, I think I'm going to do this instead and play Grealish in the middle and Trezeguet on the left and give that a go instead. Yeah, we're going to give Winder his debut. Uh, he's better than Target and I'm excited to see how he will get on in the team. But this is going to have to be the lineup. I think John McGinn... Yeah, he's still injured, so no McGinn today. This is the lineup we're going to go for. Come on, Villa. We're going to get straight into it. I just want to play a game. I've been excited to play this career for a long while. Haven't been able to record recently, so I'm, you know, proper up for getting on it and getting straight into the game. After watching Villa yesterday as well, I was a bit more like, I need to play in my career mode now. <laughs> Watkins managed to get himself a hat-trick against the Liverpool as well, so hopefully we'll be able to get his... First Premier League goal today. Here we are at the Emirates. Let's get, pardon me, straight into it. And I forgot to change the strip. Shit. I mean, there's not a major kit clash really, is it? But, okay. Our team chemistry is woeful, by the way. So, that could be why we're losing a few games. It's a great tackle from Gilbert, though, to set us off. I don't know where Grealish is. <laughs> we sort of need him. Big win Mings. Love that. Oh. Nice pass. Oh, there's nothing on there. Oh, God. Well done. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought that was our player. <laughs> Fuck's sake. What is that? Why is that? Let's tackle. Watkins. Watkins? Watkins! Come on! Come on! Yes! Oh my god. I was so focused then. I was like whispering to myself because I didn't want to get too excited. <laughs> See, the Ganga press is working already. Jack Grealish here, nicking it off Xhaka. Plays through Watkins. One touch. Second touch. Goal. Come on, boys. 1-0. First goal of the series. Let's go. You can see the tactics are um, working a lot more already, I feel like. Just with this Ganga press, we're just winning it a bit higher. Although, I feel like we're leaving ourselves a bit more vulnerable. At the back. Oh, what a block. Get rid. Oh, get rid. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, great tackle. Drive. Playing through. That's a terrible pass. Oh, Bellerin's done well there. He's actually sold me. Stay out there, Mings. Get to him. Oh, my God. It's a bit scary. Won't lie, because uh, I'm going to put us a bit more conservative. Play him there. That'll do. Nice, Grealish. Play him through. 
Nice try, all right. Watkins, I think he's off. Oh, it's a finish, though. If I uh, if he just stayed on side, then, you know, could have got something there. Let's let them come to us a bit, you know. Not too much, though. Please. Please. Oh, my God, how has he missed? How, has, uh, how have we not intercepted that there, though? This pass here. It's gone through Konza's legs, man. It's so annoying. Louise is there. Turn out Louise. Nice. Grealish is there. Trezeguet's there, however. I'm not sold on Trezeguet, won't lie. Oh, no. That would have been a ball. Nice. Nice. Trezeguet, just as I chat shit about him, gets the goal to make it 2-0. This Ganga press is working so well. Trezeguet there, Hurahan there, plays it through. What a tidy little finish. Come on. 2-0. Come on. It's happening. We're winning the league. Nice, Windle. Love that. Go on, drive, mate. you got all the space in the world. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck that completely. <laughs> my bad. That's my bad. <laughs> I've done all that just to fucking fake shot it off the pitch. Louise is free. Yeah, I like the throw in this game. I don't think I've ever had a had a throw where I've thought it's not gone to the player I've wanted it to. Triori now. Acres of space in front of him. Cuts in on that left. Finesse. Oh! Just gone past the post. It's a sign of things to come, though. It's all right. We'll let them let them come forward a bit. Ooh, we're nearly there. Nearly nicking it. We're getting very, very close. Like that. There you go. Go on, try. You've got the legs to get that. Watkins is through. Oh, touch is terrible. 2-0, though. Let's try going at halftime at 2-0. Bellerin. Yes, Windle. Excellent tackle. Play it this time, maybe. Hold it up, Watkins. Love that. Trezeguet. Grealish. Out to Gilbert. Fire into Grealish. Gone. That's a stupid pass. Grealish has won it back, though. Oh, it's nice feet. Referee! Well done. Look at this. Little turn back. Forward. I mean, he has got the ball, so I don't really know how that's a foul, but I'm not going to complain. Uh, I mean, are we really banging this in from here? Maybe we could play it to whoever's next to me. Windle. Down the line to Trezeguet. Little chip. <sighs> oh! Get that. Oh, no. Great half. Watkins and Trezeguet to put us in front at half time. Who's that? Oh, it's Hurahan. Not as much possession, but we've just been clinical with our chances. So I think we just go straight into the second half and um, hopefully keep it up. I think we've played quite well. We've defended well. They've had a few chances, but nothing really that threatening. Gilbert needs help here. Louise is there. Triori's there. And again. Touch, finish, goal. Bang! Let's go. What is going on? Two for Ollie Watkins today. Traore with the assist. Lovely play. Into Louise. Into Traore. Or Grealish. Then to Traore. Fires it into Watkins. who finishes it. What a goal. We are running ragged against Arsenal currently. Good block. Martinez, that's yours. Press him. Look at this. They're making mistakes. They don't want it. Gengar pressing's working just fine. Oh, we've got some defending to do here. Oh, well done. Can we counter? Nice so far. 
Get up, Grealish. Ah, shit. Back to the goalkeeper. Yes. Well done, Mings. Go on, Wyndall. That's a good ball. Tyranny. Gilbert is on it, though. Go on, Triari. Run. Watkins is there. That's nice from Watkins. Just nice to hold it up. They've gone a bit more, I think, intense now. Oh, great little pass, Trezeguet. Oh, no, I've pressed the wrong button. I pressed square to cross it because I thought I still had it. Oh, they don't want it. It's long ball in it. Fire that in. Trezeguet's there. Trezeguet's there. Trezeguet's there. <laughs> oh, my God. Trezeguet looks exactly like Ollie Watkins. 4-0. <laughs> Come on. It's nice from Grealish. I mean, it didn't really mean to pass it there, but that's, I think that's shocking keeping from Summer, but get on him, Louise. What the fuck? Nice. Nice. Ah. Uh, not, I mean, too much, I think, there. Yeah, we're going to make some subs. Triari's like dead, I think. Um, we're going to do that. So we're going to bring on Jota right wing, Barkley to play in the middle, and um, Grealish is going to go on the left. Okay, subs are on. Andre Gomez has come for Arsenal. Hmm. Oh, that's a bad pass. Ah, uh, thank you. I think Watkins is a bit fucked, so let's bring on Wesley. I mean, some of the fouls, that is not a foul. Some of the fouls in this game are, they're really bad. Give it to the Louise here, maybe. Okay, it's literally not where I'm aiming, but. Oh, shit. That's nice. Oh, my God. This feels like cheating. I don't know what is going on. Grealish with another assist. And Jota with the goal off the bench. Just like real life. Jack Grealish getting three assists. Nice from Barkley to win that tackle. And it's a lovely ball into Jota. Just slots it away, love, nicely. 5-0. Jesus Christ. What is going on? And that calls it. That's it. That's game. I mean, unreal. We had five shots on target and five goals. That is very, very clinical. Jack Grealish, 7.5. Watkins, 7.5. Trezeguet, 7.5. Let's have a look. Oh, Jack Grealish only got two assists. Could have sworn he got three. Trezeguet gave two goals. Triori of one assist. Oli Watkins of two goals and one assist. That is why he's getting man of the match. Insane. There we are. There's our first win of... The season and it's a 5 0 against Arsenal. Crazy, crazy result. Puts us up to fifth with three points. I mean, I can't believe it. I don't know how we've pulled that off. Um, but I think that's the formation we've got to go with. Just build up that team chemistry by playing it more and more. But now we move on to the last day of the transfer window. So Norwich are looking at C Archer. But they need a few hours to send over the transfer, of course. That's like normal. John McGinn's back. That's good. Uh, Douglas Louise is improving. Lovely to see. Um, we've got some scouting results, so we'll go have a look at them quickly. Thomas Lamar. Quincy Promise. How much would they want for him? Could be a like, really good signing, that. Another Dutch player. I think I'd be quite happy with that. Yes, he is 28, but it gives us some experience on the wing. Is that Nkunku from Leipzig? This guy is so good. I really like him in real life. I think he's such a player. How much would they want for him? Yeah. <laughs> a lot more. A lot more. Okay. Well, we can't get Nkunku, but it would be a signing. I just think, I know uh, Trezeguet had a 
mental game, but I mean, if you look at the team, it would just look so much better, right? With McGinn there, Grealish there, and then we've got an 82 raid player on the wing. I just like seeing the 80s fill up because obviously I think our back four should become at least 80 rated because they're all quite young. I'm not sure about Gilbert, actually. He's 26. He could go up. Maybe not a lot, but Mings is 20. Mings is 27. What? I thought he was so much younger. Uh, Cons is only 23. Windle is only 21. Louise is only 22. McGinn's only 20, mm, 26, but he's 80 rated already. Grealish is 25, and he's 80 rated. So, you know, uh, Bertrand Trier is obviously going to go up. Oh, I'd be sick having Promise on the left. I think we're going to go for it. Let's see if we can get him. Let's see how much they'd want. And how much he's on. He's on 52k a week, though. I can only give him 38. I think we just have to give him mental bonuses. We'll try that, shall we? Three-year contract, 38k a week, which is a lot less than what he's on. And we'll go for um, 12 million and see what they say. It's going to take two hours, so um, we'll see. See what they say. So they want 15 million. Someone's come for a Lansbury. Tempted to just accept it, you know. So I can accept the terms. I think I'm going to accept it. Let's do it. Yeah, go on. Quincy Promes. Cost me 15 million, 38k a week. Our salary is a bit fucked. But I think from that, I think, well, maybe we might have some more, uh, more offers for some of our players. Last day of the transfer in chapter two. Sea Archer for uh, 450. Yeah. Well, I'm happy to sell him on then. I don't even know who he is, though. <laughs> Sorry, but I actually don't. Right, let's sell on Lansbury. He's on 12k a week as well. How old is Archer then? He's 21. He's only on like a k a week though, so I don't know if it would make much difference. Let's see if we can get a million. We'll do 800k and see what they say. It's going to take three hours. So just accept it, shall I? There we go. So we've got Lansbury gone. We've only got three hours left of the transfer window, but I think that's all the things we are going to do. So, if I may, look at that. Look, oh, that looks sick. It looks so much better. So now we have ourselves Quincy Promes, Jack Grealish, Bertrand Traore, and Ollie Watkins as the attack in front four. Douglas Louise and John McGinn. I mean, that's a bit of a team, don't you think? It's looking good. It's looking good. Let's sort out his number as well. Um, What number is... He's got 13. That looks horrible. Maybe 19. And the camera can have uh, 13 for now. I don't mind that. Right, well, I think that's it. I don't think we're going to have any more signings. Uh, haven't really got a lot of money to spend. And uh, no one's coming for our players, so... Managed to get one last signing over the line on deadline day. Quincy Promise. I think it's a great signing. Yes, he's 28. However, he gives us that bit of experience on the left. Jack Grealish and Ollie Watkins in the best 11th of the month. Lovely to see. Some of the ratings have already gone up. So we've already got Douglas Louise gone up. Ollie Watkins. Neil Taylor is gone down because he may be past his prime. Uh, negotiations failed. I don't have a clue who that is about. Already just looking at a possible right back to get Denzel Dumfries from PS3, 81, PS3, PSV, 81 rated right back. Another Dutch player could slot right in to the team, I think. Uh, we're pretty much building the Dutch team right here, aren't we? It's an 81 rated. Yeah, I think that'd be a great sign in if we went for him. Cons has already gone up as well. Lovely to see. Um... Good stuff. So I think I've just seen we've got Liverpool as well coming up as well. It's insane. I've never seen a, a start like it. Then thankfully it gets a lot, lot easier. But uh, we've probably got one of the worst possible starts in the league. Um, what I think I might do is instead of recording every single game we play, 
and doing a live commentary over it. I'm tempted to uh, just record the games and just do a little highlight reel of the games and how it how we got on, and then um, maybe we'll come back for the Liverpool game. I think that's a nice way to do it because otherwise it's like. I don't know though. Maybe, maybe we will. I don't know. I see how I feel, but I think we're going to stop episode two there. Obviously, a great episode for us. Got our first win of the season. A very good win as well. Five 0 away from home against Arsenal. Got to deadline day and signed Quincy Promise, building a nice little team here at Villa. Very, very excited to see where it goes. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. And if you want more, please subscribe. Let me know if you want any um, players to sign, anything like that. Your thoughts on the series and how I should play with the team. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully, I shall see you in the next one. Peace.